Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm playing Battlefield 1 on the PlayStation Vita via Remote Play. It's been a while, I don't do a Remote Play video on the Vita, so here I'm testing Battlefield 1. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the loading screens here. Okay, so here we are back again. Right now, I am trying out this game on the Vita use uh, via the story mode. You know, it has uh, different kind of stories and it's pretty cool. I like the way they did this time, the stories in Battlefield. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's like six or seven stories that you play through. Each story has like three or four chapters. Um, yeah, chapters. And it's pretty damn cool. You play through all this and all that. I'm Right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cutscene, that way I don't spoil anything here and I don't get hit by copyright as well. Okay, so we cut the uh, cutscene there, so we can show you guys a little bit of gameplay. Um, here, of course, what we're doing is uh, controlling this tank, which is uh, one of those old models. Most likely it's one of, like, one of the first models of the tanks in World War I. Uh, the controls here... When you're controlling the tank, it's, it feels really, really good. No problems whatsoever. Uh, with the triangle, like you see there, you can switch between the machine gun and you can switch between the missile or the cannon, whatever you call it. And with the L1, you use the sight. You see that you use the sight and with the right stick, you just move the sight around. Just like that, like you see there. Pretty cool. Okay, the war has started. Everybody's going crazy. And like you see here, you use the left stick to accelerate. So like you see, if I let it go, it just stop. If I let it, if I press on the stick forward, it'll just go forward. And of course, with the right stick, you control the direction where you want your tank to go, which feels really, really natural feels really natural here and on the console and of course the, 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 the graphics just looks amazing very very gritty nope let's go ahead and hit a little bit forward I'm gonna shoot there you go boom so you see there you shoot the cannon but of course it takes uh it takes like 10 seconds to reload again but you see there I keep pressing it but it won't shoot it's because it actually takes around like five seconds, maybe. There you go. Boom. Drop down the tower. Uh oh. They're okay, getting stuck there. <laughs> there you go. Oof, man, I'm getting hit. Let's zoom in, who's hitting me? Oh, that sucker right there? Ooh. Take that. <laughs> there you go. So, man, it would be awesome if we get one of these games on the PlayStation Vita, right? But sadly, we are not getting a lot of games here on the Vita, you know? It sucks that, you know, the only games that are really, really coming true AAA titles is Japanese games. You know, that's what really sucks. That's why my channel has seen a decrease of PlayStation Vita videos. And people keep asking me why I don't record videos. And, hey, hello, have you seen the games coming out lately? They're all Japanese. Sorry for living in the United States in America, you know, I like Western type of games uh, Some Japanese games I like like Final Fantasy Persona 5 I tried it and I and I really really like it uh, Keep shooting people here And but that's the reason why you know most of the games that I've been playing on the Vita is either remote play Which I've been playing a lot when I'm watching video uh, when I'm watching sports game I'm going crazy shooting everybody here with the machine gun. There you go. Ooh. So, of course, here you gotta keep maintaining this area and try to eliminate all the enemies in this post. 
Oh man, boom, I killed both my people and, and they're, I'm just killing everybody here. <laughs> Is there anybody there? Okay, hey, there you go. <laughs> and using the machine gun. You see that I'm trying to get the proper aim, but with the sticks, it, it takes a little bit more, you know, moving the sticks. There you go. There you go, objective complete. I conquered this area here. So basically, we gotta do the same thing to the next areas. Okay, we got this guy. Let's go ahead and get him from far away. Oop, a little bit up. Nope. There you go. <laughs> gotta, you gotta kill these suckers from far away. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Aim a little bit higher. Uh, no, I don't think that's anything over there. Oh, yeah. You can see that the effects looks pretty damn badass. And of course, over here, the rear touchpad to repair your tank. You just press on the left side rear touchpad and he, like you see there on the screen it's repairing the tank so when you use tanks you gotta do this constantly because you know you're getting hit from everywhere by by missiles by by normal guns you know cannon from other tanks so sometimes you just gotta retreat and, ju and just repair yourself because right here like you see that we got hit by a missile. Okay, switch over there. Boom! Eat that, suckers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Oof. It feels so satisfying blowing these people up. There you go. Let's keep on moving it. Oh, there's another guy right there. Gotta aim a little bit higher. Oh, I don't think he's shooting anything else anytime soon. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to finish the gameplay. Yeah, so I can show you guys. Oh, man, I think I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just driving over everybody. Even my own people. <laughs> okay, this is another flag I have to capture or paw post. There you go. I don't know, when you're in close combat like this, is sometimes it's better if you switch to the machine gun. Uh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Headshot. Some missile coming right there. Oh, I got that. There you go. This location is complete. Nice. And you're done. There you go. Let's go blow up this shack just in case there's somebody there. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm playing another mission here, which is another story. This is, I think, is called Lawrence of Arabia. Let's cut, cut the cutscene there so you guys can see. This is a different gameplay. So in this one right here, we can. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the stealth mode in this, and that way you can also see the controls of an individual when you're controlling that guy. Uh, right here in the back, you're gonna use the binoculars. So you see, I use the binoculars, and with the right stick, I move around. Right here, of course, we tag all the enemies. That way, we know where they are. And we're looking for the location where we have to go. So that way when you find it, it actually stays marked. Let me 
see. Got some more enemies there. And your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you. Steal from your enemy. Okay, I think we found the location. I think it's, yeah, we found the location, so let's go ahead for it. Uh, I can see here we're going to be using a knife because we're going to try to be stealthy. Uh, right here in the front, like you see there, if I type right there, it just throws something in the back. Right here in the bottom, which would be like R3 or R2. Uh, you actually stab. And over here on this side, you don't actually do anything here. You don't do nothing. Just on the right side of the screen, he throws like, I think it's like, quarters or something like that. that way, I think this is used to like distract your enemies towards that specific location. And of course you can crawl with the zero, with the circle, and press the circle again and you get back to walking and if you press it again you go crouching. And up here with, with the X you jump. And here we're gonna go crouch to stealth kill this guy. There you go. Just like that. And of course we could use take the weapon, but... Mm -hmm. But the thing is that this mission right here is more like a stealth mode. You can actually go and guns blazing but you know no, it's not it's, if you really want to do it correctly this mission you're better off doing stealth mode so of course the controls here for the weapons is basically same as any other game you shoot with the r1 if i'm not mistaken but right now i just switched back to the knife and here in the back you can see there here in the back i can run by holding here in the bottom so that's how you run faster Uh, for those asking what's going to be my next uh, video game uploading soon, it's going to be, I think, a Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to be uploading videos for uh, the PlayStation Vita version of um, World of Final Fantasy. Yes, World of Final Fantasy. I actually purchased it and through Amazon, which I should be receiving it on release day, which is Tuesday. There you go. That feels so satisfying. Um, and of course, you know, thanks to the Amazon Prime member features, I get it 20% off, which I'm actually going to be paying $31.99 for the game instead of $39.99. So that's one thing that if you are a gamer, it pays to be a Amazon Prime member. It pays to. So yeah, I'm getting that game, which is this Tuesday. I played the console version, the demo. I didn't want to play too much. I didn't want to play too much because I don't want, you know, I don't like playing the same missions over again. Um, and I like what I felt. You know, I like what I saw. I, you know, I played other Final Fantasy games before. And this is a total, I, I believe this is a totally new story. You know, and it felt good. And I think on the Vita should, should feel even better because it's on the go so yes i'll be getting that game there you go getting some more people getting off topic here of course we're playing battlefield and talking about final fantasy but i just want to share with you guys you know what's going on and why the lack of videos uh this game i didn't buy it i actually received it via gamefly so I'm trying it out. I really don't like it that much on the console. I don't know. I, I, I'm i grown a little bit old with these um, military video games. I like more the arcade style video game. Uh, first person shooters like Doom. And, and um, Fallout. And um, Killzone. I like more those type of first person shooters. And Wolfenstein. But Call of Duty and... Battlefield, I'm a little bit tired of these military games. That's why you don't see me playing these games too much. But, there you go. We finished this gameplay here. We got the Codex book. I believe this is the code book that he, she was looking for, or he. And that's it. We got a little cutscene here, which looks pretty badass. 
And um, that's it, guys. I uh, just wanted to share this video with you guys, just so you guys can see that, hey, man, I still love the Vita. Problem is, is the lack of games, and I like, you know, a little bit more Western games. I would love that. And sadly, there's more Japanese games than American or Western games. Yeah, baby. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. I think the next video that I'm going to be recording for remote play is going to be Watch Dogs or Titan 4 or something like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. How enchanting you are, my dear.